Good day. In this video, we're going to practice with you how to factorize the sum and difference of two cubes. When we factorize the difference or sum of two cubes, we will end up with two factors, a smaller bracket that has two terms in it and a bigger bracket that will have three terms in it. Now you take the cube root of this value and you write it here. You write down this sign over here. And then you write the cube root of this value over there. This is quite easy because it looks exactly the same as here, just without the cubes. Now to find the three values inside this bracket, you leave this out totally for a moment. To use the values in here, you take this x, you square it, and you write it there. You take this term times this term, which is minus xy, change the sign, and write it here. Lastly, you take this rear term, and you times it by itself, and you write it there. Minus y times minus y is plus y squared. And that's your final answer. You're going to practice this quite a few times. So I say again, you take the cube root of this number, write it here. Take that sign, write it there. Take the cube root of this number and write it there. Forget about this then. Take this number, times itself, write it there. Take this number, times this number, which is minus xy, change the sign, write plus xy. Take this minus y, times it by itself, and write it there, plus y squared. Now let's factorize the sum of these two cubes. We will end up with two factors, a smaller bracket with two terms in it, bigger bracket with three terms in it. Take the cube root of this term and write it here. Take this sign and write it there. Take the cube root of this term and write it there. And that is our first factor. Looks exactly like we had, just without the cubes. You take this term, times it by itself, write the answer there. Take this term, times it by this term, which is plus AB, change the sign and write it there. Which gives us a minus AB. Then you take the rear term and you times it by itself. Plus b times plus b, you write the answer there, is plus b squared. And then you finished factorizing the sum of two cubes. Please stop the video and get your brain around this. Up here is a summary of what I just taught you down here. But according to me, it's unnecessary to learn more formulas and rules, so let's do a few more. Before we practice a few more, you may send a message to this number to arrange a personalized online lesson in mathematics. For the rest of this video, the heading would be factorize. You may see that this is the difference of two cubes because we have an a cube and then minus a two cube. You make a small bracket and a big bracket. In here we will have two terms and in here we will have three terms. In the first bracket, we will take the cube root of this term. The cube root of a cube will be a you write that sign over there. The cube root of 8, I write there, which is 2. Then we take this term times itself and write the answer there. Take this a times the minus 2, which is minus 2a. Change the sign and write it there, which is plus 2a. Then I take the minus 2 times the minus 2 and I write the answer there, which is plus 4. And these are the two factors of this difference of two cubes. Let's do e cubed minus 125. You must know that 125 is 5 cubed. That means it's also a cube number. Cube root of e cubed is e. Write down the minus and the cube root of 125 is 5. This e times itself gives you an e square. This e times minus 5 is minus 5e. Change the sign and write it here plus 5e, then minus 5 times minus 5 is plus 25 at the back. Let's factorize this one. Cube root of x cubed is x, with the plus down, cube root of 1 over 27 is 1 third. x times x is x squared. x times a third, change the sign, is minus x over 3. And plus a third times plus a third is plus a ninth. Please stop the video and get your head around this. Let's factorize a few more. 
Here is again the difference of two cubes. First you must know that 64x cubed is 4x all cubed. Then your two final factors will look like this. Please stop the video and see if it's right. Next you have to factorize this one. First we will remove a common factor of 2 from both the terms. Then again we have the difference of two cubes. It will end up looking like this. So factorizing this will end up with these three factors. Please stop the video and get your head around this one. Please stop the video and see if you can factorize these two expressions. And now check your answers. Please indicate whether you liked or disliked the video and subscribe to the channel. Enjoy mathematics.